Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Chu Yeon Choi. I'm a lead developer at Samsung, where I focus on developing web features for the Tizen TV platform. Today, I'm excited to introduce some great new capabilities for developers to use when making apps for the Tizen TV platform. So, let's get started. We at Samsung continually look for ways to enhance our leading edge product and to improve the user experience. Three ways we are doing that with Tizen TV are WebAssembly optimized for TV, compatibility with the Shaka player, and an upgradable web engine. We sell tons of TVs every year, so that's why you want to launch your app on Samsung TV. Samsung TV is built upon the Tizen platform, which is very stable and making use of cutting edge features. WebAssembly is one of those features. It's a shining star. In fact, most of the partners I've met are actually trying to port existing solutions to Tizen TVs. That's where WebAssembly fits into the feature to help minimize cost. It's very convenient for developers like you because it's reusable. WebAssembly is very fast in runtime as a native module. Furthermore, our team has enhanced most useful APIs such as socket and game-related APIs and added player to get high performance on video streaming. WebAssembly is also very secure because it works in a sandbox environment. This means applications can't escape the sandbox without going through appropriate APIs. So this turns into fewer security concerns. WebAssembly, in short, is a set of bytecode that runs major browsers such as Chrome, Safari, Edge, and Firefox. You may have heard of the open source JavaScript engine called BA, which is shipped on Chromium. Once you visit the site, you will see the definition of BA. BA supports WebAssembly as well as JavaScript. WebAssembly looks good in web area. In addition, there are more challenges to run WebAssembly as a standalone model outside the web engine. Sooner or later, WebAssembly might run on everywhere. WebAssembly can be a game changer for video or music streaming, machine learning, game, video editors, and more. In the past, you'd assume that this would require native languages such as C++ to deliver solid performance. But now, WebAssembly can do just about anything you want it to do. I've been making several demos and found it's nearly fast and compatible. Here is a demonstration of the power of WebAssembly. The first demo is about video player. We provide the API set for the video player, which includes all of the player features. It's called the WASM player. The WASM player accepts elementary stream packet. If you want to ship your own stream downloader and demoxer. Of course, DRM contents is OK, and we support them through native code. We offer the sample on the Samsung official GitHub, and you could download it right away. The second demo is very developer friendly. We want developers to stay in their preferred OS environment, such as Windows, Ubuntu, and macOS. There is an extension named Tizen TV Wasm that provides you with many useful tools, such as a certification tool, management of compilation and link flags, and a tool for making and installing the TV widget. Feel free to explore the samples that we have released in advance with this. But now, let's make an app together. I will show you the process of making a player app based on the sample. Before we get started in making the player, I'd like to recommend you get familiar with two websites. The first one is Samsung Developer Website, which contains official documentation and serves as the portal to introduce you to other resources. The other one is Samsung GitHub repository for WASM, where you can find all the samples. 
If you have any issues, please report them. You can expect to get the answer from me or one of my colleagues directly. We are happy to answer your valuable questions or hear your suggestions. OK, let's get started. All these links are provided in the description. You can refer them after this video. First, please download Tizen Watson Toolchain. Yes, here it is. Choose your OS and click to download. I'm going to extend it to my home directory. All these things are already prepared, and you don't need to download other resources about Toolchain. As I mentioned, we care about performance and usability. Therefore, we have modified Toolchain by adding new implementation and APIs. Please activate it like this. and run VS Code. This assumes you've installed VS Code in advance. Please find and install the Tizen TV Wasm extension. There are useful instructions on how to use it on the extension official web page. Let's make the video player. Creation a Wasm project starts from this menu. Click on empty, and I will name it as DC demo. Choose the location properly. It will make a form of structure for the Tizen web application. We can add Wasm module from this menu. Choose language C++. Please remember the name of the Wasm module. You will need it when we modify the source file in next stage. Empty. No. No. We will visit the Wasm demo repository. Copy the address. And clone it. Get into sample source directory. Copy all the files from the net repository to the project source directory. And copy web app related files as well. Please replace index.html. You need to add emssnode.js to the same directory where you have your index.html. Star.css goes to CSS folder. And please go to the directory where your Wasm module is located. Delete template files. I will give a short description on source files. This is a sample stream that will be rendered on display. This is a main function where the Wasm module begins. EMSS SDF sample is a key file which includes most function of player. It inherits from provide interfaces and handle the event properly. Here is a load file and we need to modify. Open the file and go to line 73. Please change EMSS sample module to your Wasm module name. For me, it is SDC.
Now we are very close to finishing our prayer. Only few steps are left. Please modify compilation and link flags by editing the project settings. Open free prompts and setting. Type mscript and get into mscript cpp compiler. Change it as shown. One more thing, link flags. You need to add the proper options. It's mentioned on the developer tutorial. You can just copy and paste it. OK, let's build it. Find build was module. While building it, we will make a certificate to install and run on Tizen emulator and TB. Find Run Certificate Manager and make as inserted. I will name it as SDC. For test purposes, we will make a public one. Once you are done, Set the certificate on the project like this. This is the Tizen emulator where our player app will be running on. Installing Tizen emulator takes more time than we have, so I skip this part. You can find the details on this site. Please launch the TB emulator. Now, all things are done. Finally, we can make the wizard. Please find build signed package and just click it. You can launch the app on the emulator like this. The emulator automatically installs and runs it. See, what's going on the emulator? Congratulations, you now have your own video player. Another benefit of WebAssembly is that it's optimized for game streaming apps. It supports low latency mode which cuts down on the pushing and the rendering gap. The latency from the input device is minimized in a Tizen TV. We adjust host mind technology, which eliminated unnecessary calls. Of course, you could make use of your own TCP UDP network module with minimal or no changes. We don't use WebSocket on the back end, but employ native APS like projects for better performance. To know where we are, we've been doing POC for game streaming applications based on the open source solution. One of them is connected with HDMI, and the other one is connected through the network. As you can see, there are only a few frame gaps. A pretty dynamic scene, right? You can use a hardware accelerated decoder VR wasn't player. You can fill elemental stream and get decoded data in order to adjust a variety of effects. You can even use fancy GL transitions. I could tell you we've worked hard to improve loading speed. Loading time is the most important criteria in commercial product. You can't imagine how much time we spend to reduce just a second. There are many pages to load a WebAssembly module, but we have demystified the process and found room to improve. Finally, 
As you see the graph on the right, we cut the compilation time by half. Moreover, we reduce the memory we use at the same time. This is an experimental feature we call it FLARE, which stands for Fast and Lightweight Web Assembly Runtime Environment. In short, it's a very simple web assembly runtime. It can run like a demo. It opens the door for you as a partner to run the service by yourself. You see, this Nolling Horse is a GM marked program. This means Flare can draw UI through GR API. We port it to Flare. It seems great. And the memory use is similar as natives. We did benchmark with other open source projects and found Flare is very competitive solution among them in terms of memory and speed. Flare shows very small memory fluidity and fast in runtime performance. Right now, it's still in the development page, but we will keep you up to date as it evolves. Let's talk about other interesting topics. Shaka Player is a well-known open source project for making MSC-based video players. Samsung recognized how powerful Shaka Player is and supports it more actively. We are communicating with Shaka Player developers through its official GitHub. If there is a problem, Samsung will try to fix the TV firmware or help partners getting a temporary workaround for the app. If you have any questions on developing a Shaka Player based app, please feel free to ask. I'd like to close this session by talking about one more thing, the upgradable web engine. On the internet, new technologies are emerging and evolving daily. Because of this advancement, Samsung is supporting a new version of web engine required for the product release. When streaming providers develop their services, they need to make them so they are compatible with all the TVs, not just the USD models. If content provider develop with the latest web specifications, they will not support TVs from the past years. With the upgradable web engine, TVs can even be several years old and still support the latest web specifications. We are preparing to apply this approach and look forward to seeing more services using the upgraded web engine in more fast product in the near future. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.